Gemini and friends. Okay. Uh, so the new moon happens in Sagittarius, which is your seventh house. And you may ask, oh, does it mean that I have to make new friends and um, to start some intimate relationships? Okay. Theoretically, that's correct. But then, but then, as I um, I've repeated several times, there are no other aspects involving this sun moon conjunction. So we can actually ignore this conjunction. Okay. This um, new moon in your seventh house. So what do we have to look at? We have to look at Mercury, your ruler. So um, we all know that Mercury just finished retrograding, okay? Mercury just finished going retrograde. And now it is um, um, in Scorpio, of course. But then, as this Mercury retrograde just finished, and um, it's actually called the post-shadow period, so it is time for um, Mercury people, I mean Gem Geminian people, to recover, yeah, to um, adapt to the um, to the to the new speed of your ruler. Okay, plus um, as Mercury, your ruler is trying um, Neptune in uh, in Pisces, and Neptune is considered um, domicile in Pisces, and that is a really good energy. So, all this together, okay, all this together means that you really have to take some rest, which is Tarot's message, okay, you just, ha you guys have to take some rest, and it is not considered that, oh, you're being lazy, no, you aren't being a lazy bum, it's just that you have to take advantage of um, sleeping more, or even meditating, um, yoga, or doing some, like, um, detox cleansing, okay, inner cleansing, okay, so that your body um, can get used to the, um, the the new energy of this um, period, okay? And what's more, I'm going to talk about fixed stars, okay? Because um, normally, um, lots of astrologers, especially um, modern, astro mo modern astrologers, they only talk about planets, okay? But then as a classical astrologer, I also have to, um, I also pay attention to fixed stars. So, under this new moon, there are two fixed stars influencing um, Mercury, which are the first one, Alpha, and the second one, Zubena Januvi. Okay, so these two fixed stars together, how do they influence Mercury? How do they influence Gemini people? The first is that, um, again, they are saying that you guys are being lazy, okay? Like in a more negative way, okay? But, but then if we incorporate Tarot's message into, into this whole picture, into this big picture, we know that you're not being lazy actually, no one's blaming you, you have to be lazy, okay, you have to slow down, okay, especially because you guys are having a really quick mind now, after um, after Mercury goes direct, but then again, I have to emphasize this, it is still in the post-shadow period, okay, but then you guys have a quick mind now, and you guys, like, um, you guys and girls, okay, have a quicker and more active mind than your body and that's why your body have to take some rest okay has to take some rest and the final reason is that um it's like the um for you your for you people gemini people to have some small um um health problems um involving stomach the stomach area um your intestines and your digestive system Okay, so that's why you guys really have you guys and girls really have to um slow down, okay, and take some rest. And um, I've actually got an a special date um for you people, and that is the sixth of December. Okay, um, so you people please take advantage of this date, um, the sixth of December this day, uh, to do some sports, which is um the opposite of resting. Okay, you people can do sports especially risky sports let's say um paragliding or um, i don't know scuba diving is is that even dangerous i don't know okay but then anyways okay just um get out of your bed and then just do something um as risky as risky as possible um on the 6th of december and that is going to benefit you okay so um good luck to you gemini people